what up youtube so today we're gonna talk about uh something simple a lot of friends been asking me to do this video because they uh recently i went to cuba and they just want to know how is it to go there uh is it really complicated what permits or what licenses do you need um things like that and this video is gonna be short probably like two or three minutes uh just explaining the way that you can actually go to cuba and it took me like at least 16 hours of finding because n not everybody knew like information in terms of permits in terms of licenses or something that you need because it's been restricted for a lot of people to go into cuba for tourism reasons if you want to just visit like you know as a tourist it's been restricted just to go for that reason um overall cuba is one of the best places that i've ever been oh, i love the country uh, i love the people i love everything uh, but uh what we're going to talk about this video is just simple how do you go to cuba without needing that much research in how to get in cuba how to get in cuba it's not really that complicated i asked so many friends they didn't have the right information they were like um you know you need a lot of permits you need permits for these permits for that uh, you need to go um get a certification or something like a permit in the in the in the cuban consulate and it wasn't that it wasn't that complicated at all so basically i'm just gonna say this is gonna be um the visa card that you're gonna get you can see and um, so very easy and uh, so first of all book the ticket i uh, could be any airline the airline that i picked was JetBlue. a uh, jet blue just because it was very cheap it was very it was like a hundred dollars and nothing else it's like a hundred dollars trip <laughs> it's the cheap piece flight i ever seen a hundred dollars flight uh, second, they will send you a uh, uh, immigration form in the email, in the same email, email that you booked the ticket. Uh, you will see an immigration form letter that you need to submit. And that's where you're going to state the reasons that you're going to go to Cuba. You got to put your name, the address, uh, your address in your city. You're going to put uh, the reason why you're going to go. It could be anything. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. Could be anything because at the end of the day, they they is not that strict. People make it seem as it's very strict, and not even the airline employees. When I was calling customer service and saying, uh, "Do I need? Uh, do I really need to get those things in order to go to Cuba?" Uh, they actually were sending me all the way to Washington D.C. to get a, a permit to travel into Cuba and it wasn't that complicated. They just made it seem like it was very complicated. So book the ticket, they'll send you a form uh, with a with a with a with a immigration status. Why you what what are the reasons that you're going to go to Cuba? Pick one of them. Uh, uh the one that I did is because I'm a student. I, I was I used to be a student. It was the education education system. Um you can to be honest you can really pick anything. But if you want to go like me, I just pick the student. Um, the third thing, once you get to the airport, they will they will make you fill up another form. Another form is stating the reason why you're gonna go to to Cuba again. As I was saying, just pick the same reason that you did uh, that you submitted before you went to the airport. So after that, you go into the main office. Um, you just gotta pay the the what it costs a uh, what it costs the visa the visa which is this one the one i show you um and also it, that's basically fifty dollars for this fifty dollars for this and make sure you keep it before when you try to leave the country because otherwise they will charge you if you don't have the visa they will make you buy an order uh one more time to be honest they were really nice with me so they just let let me uh, leave the country without any paying anything because I forgot I forgot what I put this and it was in my bag <laughs> so um, What else? Uh, for 
make sure you don't forget this when you're trying to leave the country again uh, and if you want more information um, about things like um, how to exchange the money uh, for because usually you get penalized uh, by I believe like uh, 13 percent when you're trying to go to Cuba we actually when we were inside of Cuba we got money for like uh, 95 percent which is we exchanged like a hundred dollars we got 95 dollars in currency in Cuban currency back so that's not but that's not a bad deal tips anything how to travel how to move around how to exchange your money if you want more of those things let me know peace